Okay, we want to call to order the Strategic Planning Committee meeting of Monday, September 14, 2015. Uh, invocation will be given uh, by Mr. Ken Dawson, followed by the pledge. That's great. Father, we thank you again for the blessings that you bestowed upon us, the gifts that you've given us, which we don't take lightly. And as we come tonight, we pray for the Matassa family and the situation with their son. Kenny Matassa is one of our own. And Father, we pray that you just allow the healing process to, to just increase exponentially, that you reduce the pain that he goes through and you continue to minister to, the, uh, to, the, to that family. Tonight, we ask for your wisdom and guidance as we move forward in doing the people's business, which we don't take lightly. And we thank you for all the blessings, again, that you bestowed upon us in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. To roll call, everyone is here tonight. Public comment period. Anyone wishing to comment on any agenda item, uh, we'll fill out a card uh, when that time and bring it up to the front. Number four, recommendation for subdivision traffic studies. Uh, Ken, you're gonna. I, I know we had talked about that earlier, uh, Mr. Bob. Uh, yes, Mr. Chairman and uh, committee members, um, uh, I, I let me give you a, a, an update on on where we are. With uh, you had asked us to look at a uh, type of a recommendation and service that uh, uh, our analyses that we could do that would um, look at the imp give us more realistic impact uh, analyses on our traffic. What we're uh, have been begun is to do a level of service determination on all of the roads that are um, within our major street plan. Um, we've we're closing in on that, but we don't have all those numbers together right at, as of this meeting. The other thing that we've done with administration and planning is to. Um, uh, incorporate a uh, contract for a less than $50,000 uh, contract with Urban Systems, who are a regional uh, or a transportation consultant within the area, and uh, to do three things. One would be to do a um, regional code analysis uh, recommendation on how we could update our, our um, land development code provisions to accomplish um, and improve our analysis technique. Um, the second would be to look at the level of ins level of service analysis uh, with respect to uh, trip generation and maybe how we could incorporate a a more regionalized trip generation schedule rather than using the national averages that uh, a lot of the ITE manuals use. And the third thing would then be to look at a uh, and make a recommendation that we could present to this committee on how to um, uh, the possibility of, of doing an impact analysis or an impact fee uh, incorporated into our land development code. Um, this is, uh, as I mentioned, an ongoing process that we've we started the last time we got together. I can um, talk with our. Uh, traffic engineer that's been doing the LOSs and forward a copy of what he has to each of you. Um, I'll get with him tomorrow and make sure that he gets something in the mail to you so just so you have a, an overview of what it would take to go maybe from one level of service up to the other or how, how the level of services are impacted by um, different um, configurations of our streets. Okay. And just for benefit for anybody that has not been uh, uh, aware of what we were trying to do. Uh, it, it, it appears every time we look at a traffic study for a subdivision, uh, they come back with uh, very little uh, effect on the level of service, uh, which 
we all know is have been uh, close to an F on all our roads, uh, and therefore uh, we're we're limited as to what we can uh, ask for in improvements, and also uh, it always ends up being a lot of times these smaller subdivisions are not uh, asked to do anything because they can't. It wouldn't be appropriate for them to build a turning lane or something like that. We need to get them to buy in also. So um, in our discussions the last few months, we've been uh, trying to research different ways. And uh, Ken had called me today and appreciated uh, that it looks like we needed to get somebody to come in and, and take a look at all the data we've been getting and to give some true recommendations that would, in effect, allow us to regionalize some of these uh, aspects for traffic and to also um, be able to incorporate the smaller subdivisions so that they can participate without actually uh, realistically participate. So uh, looking for input for anyone and, and, and please uh, also uh, <coughs> We've been assured that, uh, especially people on this committee, to uh, call Ken and Bob for input with this group to uh, your feeling as to what you know we need to do to move forward. But uh, question, Benny. Mr. Bob. Yes, sir. So uh, I know we, we, as Kent mentioned, we get these grades on the roads A, B, C, D, F. So when they do a traffic impact study and they grade the road as an F. For to help me understand it as well as anybody else so I'm not necessarily looking to take an, an F road and turn it into a B or a C road I'm just looking to move more traffic what what exactly is the goal of the current study is it to make it into a, a B road or an A road or is it to move traffic I mean what is it what exactly are we doing with this thing no the, the uh, um, scope of, of where we're headed with the level of service um, uh, review that we're doing on each of the roads as they exist today it, it'll it's providing us with a matrix of different elements that you can change to help move traffic better it doesn't necessarily mean that your intent uh, of the level of service is to jump from an F to an A but it it'll start to give us a little bit better feel for what does it take on a specific road to go from maybe a low D to a, to a C, uh, whether it's by um, wi lane widening the lanes or adding a, a curb or a signal uh, at a key intersection along the way. And then to take that and, and translate that into how to evaluate the impact of a development on the road system in its area. So is the grade determined by the amount of traffic it can move or the, 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 the quality of the roads, shoulders, width of the lanes? I mean, which one? Is, is it both or is it All of the above plus what type of category it falls into. If it's a, um, an urban con collector versus a rural collector or an urban arterial versus an uh, urban collector, the, the category of road also impacts the level of service determinations. So within the study that we're proposing or we're trying to get to, I guess it wouldn't, even if we just tried to move more traffic on the road, we would go from a D or an F to a C because of the, the amount of traffic we want to move? Potentially, yes. OK. Mike. Mm -hmm. sure. Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah. Um, thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thank you, Bob. Um, I'd like to go down the three different points you just mentioned since they're new to, to me and I'm sure to the rest of the committee and a question about each one. The um, urban system analyses that we seek for the 50,000 or, or less than 50,000, first point you said was regional code, if I've captured this right, Bob, and correct me if I'm wrong, analyses to update our land development code. So for example, is an expectation of this study to come back and say, in my neck of the woods and Chris's and Terry's up in north uh, part of the parish, Prairieville, that they would maybe come back with a different 
uh, recommendation than say by comparing us to Santa Mar or Geismar or, or somewhere south of us? Uh, no, it, it's because um, uh, right now everything it, is just instead of instead of using the uh, federal uh, trip generation man numbers that are in the highway capacity. Well, manual. I, got, I got that for number two. Right, and, and then I'm talking about number one. With that, let's see where I was. Yeah, number two, you said was a trip generation. I was going to get to that because if that's my question there, if that's going to be like when you did the 200 theoretical lot development off of 73 in my district, you talked about the AP method, the DOTD method that caused a one second increase versus the something you called the area analysis that had an 83 second increase. I, if that's the kind of recommendations they're going to come back with, I'm all down with that th because those methods the, that we're currently using aren't working. And, and yes, sir, and, and that's what I intended with the word regional was okay. a more of an area so the, the first and the second are going to kind of blend in together, maybe. Okay. Yes, sir. Number three, um, I can't read my notes here. Recommend analyses on impact fee uh, added to the land development code again. Is that going to be an independent study of our uh, committee that uh, Councilwoman Castle appointed uh, with Mr. Tafisi on the exploratory impact fee, impact fee exploratory subcommittee of the finance committee, or are we going to dovetail those in together somehow? Um, to, to come up with a recommendation to the full council that here's the number? It, it, it would, I'm sure, be dovetailed in. Uh, what uh, we anticipate Urban Systems would do would be to give us an overview of uh, probably a, a range of, of things that could be incorporated into our land development code. Then we would look at those in, in light of the uh, subgroup that's working with the finance committee. And, and so and, and I, I promise three, once again, I lied. I find I do that a lot lately. Um, I didn't speak the total truth. Uh, the, so all three of them ended with LDC, LDC, LDC. So the intention when we spend this money, so that people understand, because people are really getting, I think understandably so, a little bit um, less patient with studying things and not doing things. But it is your belief that depending on what comes out, and, and with an active council, because the buck stops with us. You know, we, we could be the blame or we could be the bless here. Uh, who's the bless, who's the blame? That we would actually have changes in the land development code as it relates to impact fees, as it relates to the type of analysis we're going to use going forward, as it reflects to Councilman uh, Benny Johnson's question about level of service and, and so forth and so on. Yes, sir. That's the that's the Because basically that's what we need, right? Because the Planning Commission keeps telling us, we can't do nothing. The code is this way, and the council needs to get off of their derriere and do something. And, and although I've been chiding them, everybody reads the newspaper and saying, "Look, guys, we appointed you. You can still make a recommendation, and we can vote. But maybe it'd be better not to vote on anything right now until we. I'm out. I'm willing to do one more study. I don't want to study this forever. But let's 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 get to a point to where some real meaningful stuff comes. It comes through this committee." I'm not even sure I'll be on it. I'm not even sure I'll ever be reelected. But uh, if if I am, or it comes to the full council, and the, and we get to change the code, that's what we need to do. And I think that's one of the things that uh, right now we're limited to basically okay. improvements of the road, basically in front of the development, and it handcuffs everyone because the best thing to do might be an intersection participation two miles down the road to move traffic like Benny was saying and it might just be if they have a 20 house subdivision that they could put up uh, just uh, five thousand dollars towards that intersection improvement instead of wasting time putting a, a, a turning lane into that subdivision I'm, you know I mean I, and, and I, right. we just we just say right now we're limited as to the possibilities and so they're looking at trying to uh, give us an opportunity to include all of the different subdivisions into whatever they can do and we're also limited uh, if it and this is my understanding and make sure I'm correct if it lowers our uh, our level of service let's say from a C to a D we can definitely get things done but if it the level of service remains the same which it usually is we can't really demand a, a whole lot. So it, it gives us a, a few, we're trying to get the wording such that it gives us a few more opportunities to get some things realistically to move traffic because uh, 
to be realistic, we probably won't improve traffic in these type of things, but we need to move it. Well, we and can't, excuse me. One, one more thing, Mr. Horner, uh, mm -hmm. I guess that's five now. What is the time frame of this um, urban systems uh, study and report? We're um, in the process of uh, talking with those folks today, um, and um, probably in the next couple of days I'll have a better answer on that. But he, he said it's probably not, it's definitely not a two week analysis that he's looking at, but um, my expectation would be somewhere within a uh, month and a half or two months, you'd probably begin to see some results on on uh, some tangible things as, uh, start to come out of the Try to get in a month and a half. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and they'll be using maybe Exactly. You, you started with level of service on all of our uh, parish roads is what I captured here. So they would be using that data in their report. Yes, well. sir. And, and so staff should, has that been. That should save us some money. And staff has been doing that. I want and people and know that. The, the real reason I think that the decision was made to um, use urban systems was to try and expedite it as much as we possibly could with staff assistance. Yep. Thank you, sir. Thank you, yes, sir. Yeah, and just for clarification, I'm sure this is the case, but when you use a regional standard created, created locally as opposed to a national standard, does that pass judicial muster in the event that we would have a question, we would be questioned regarding the, the legality of the study? That will be one of the uh, items that we'll at, we will be heavily involved with the consultant with, uh, in regard to, uh, but in in a lot of juris in most jurisdictions, yes, it's it passes legal muster as long as you go through the process to get it uh, evaluated. Thank you. Any mm -hmm. other questions, comments, Mr. Lambert? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Yeah, Mr. Bob, uh, the only thing. And a lot of us know, uh, know it now with the schools just starting. They have revert, you know, put all the school traffic on the parish roads. We need to let, you know, with these level of services that we're looking, we need, we need to make sure that, you know, all of this is included now that, you know, the whole parish has changed with, uh, you know, with the, with the vehicles and everything that's coming in on parish roads. The other thing is I've noticed in uh, a couple of sub subdivisions that's been approved here, anything under 80 lots, you know, they're not leaving anything, not putting any uh, impact on the state roads. They're putting them all on up. A lot of these connected roads, uh, I mean, there's a school on it. There's a fire, uh, fire uh, station on it. I mean, you know, we, we need to share the... Uh, uh, entrance, you know, either you know the state needs to step up. Uh, I, I don't care what what the level is, but they need to they need to have another outlet. Uh, and I mean, this is uh, as as we move forward, this is going to get serious, and uh, we we can't dump everything on the parish roads. So, thanks. Okay, number five, uh, report on plan review, permits, time frame, and. Uh, uh, a number of months back, we had uh, an issue with time frame of permits and plan review, and uh, so it was decided to expedite it by doubling the cost, and uh, so we wanted to try to get a report on what did that cost doubling have an effect on plan review time. And uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I, I can say that uh, it has affected things in a positive way. If you remember it initially when we decided to do that, you know, we were so backlogged, you know, after Tim Ward, you know, left and just trying to catch up that we actually hired T. Baker Smith to come in and assist with getting some of these numbers up, and they did a good job until maybe toward the end of December and part of the beginning of the year, after which we finally were able to hire Ms. Rhonda Bro come in and um, and she did um, T. Baker Smith assisted as she went through her learning curve um, that improved and then we also got uh, Mr. Bob Turner to come in and assist as well you know and that that money assist in the compensation for those for those added uh, on staff I can say that's now just speaking with uh, Ms. Bro compared to when she first started as to what's happening now we probably have double the amount of of reviews that we have coming in is going out. I just found out yes, uh, last week there were 12 items that came in for request, 
12 went out. So it has helped significantly in what we've been able, able to do. But if I could get over here to the screen, I want to show sure. a, a slide real quick. says a lot about where we are what's happening in the parish. I had Mr. Compton prepare this if I can get my, there we go. Uh, I just had Ricky to put something together. These are just uh, lots approved uh, in preliminary plats. Now, this is not all that's been submitted. These are ones just going through the preliminary approval stages. And if you look at this line around 2013, the increase in the number that we actually have had, and we are continuing to see a significant increase. So uh, there is a lot of people that are coming in here doing buildings and, and wanting to do things. And the action that, that President uh, Martin has took and the council took in getting extra help has really helped out significantly. We're still going through some growing pains, and uh, we're still working through, through quite a few things because sometimes we get resubmission. You know, I mean, look, let's face it. You know, a developer wants to get those drawings in. You know, sometimes they want to get it in to hold a space, and they may not be as complete as they need it to be. And we're looking at those things and how we can improve that particular submission process. Because we don't want to be their QC at their facility. We don't want to be their QC, but we want to review those drawings, you know, from what the requirements on our <coughs> codes and our ordinance state. And, but I can say that a job has been well done by the staff that we have, we have currently present. And I think the communication has improved between them and the developers. I mean, they're getting a lot of questions asked, answered, and um, not saying that we catch everything or that we, 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 you know, we don't miss some things, but it has improved greatly. I think it's pretty obvious that, uh, the increase uh, uh, with the increase in uh, industrial development and people moving in. And uh, from all uh, indicators throughout the state, uh, economic indicators and everything, it's not going to decrease within the next 10 years. So that's one of the things we just want to make sure that they had something in place and something in place in case something happens and we get behind or if we get someone that, that leaves us and, and we're able to handle this because I think it's going to get, obviously, it's going to get, uh, the, you know, going to be more than rather than less. Absolutely. Uh, good problem to have compared to people moving out of the parish. I just, just want to say about that also, even though you double the price, we haven't had any anybody that uh, came to us and complained about the price. They were just wanting to get the job done. So you may want to think about that when you talk about impact fees. Mm -hmm. I think it's going to be the something uh, to a similar uh, effect. I mean, might, when you first start it, uh, some people might get uh, mad, but uh, once they see the results, uh, that's what speaks up, and uh, now they they're not getting all those calls uh, about uh, being behind. So I think it's worked well. And uh, as I said, uh, a lot of the problem was that they were sending in incomplete plans. And when we got them, we had to send them back. And then they would come and holler about, well, y'all didn't get them back to us. We've been sending them in, in August and hadn't gotten them back yet. Well, yeah, you sent in, but the plans weren't complete. So now when they send in the complete plans, if we got to send them back, well, then we charge them another fee. So you, you that's kind of uh, help in that situation too. So, and uh, just to let people know, because there's always, uh, you know, a as people look around here, I, I'm, I do business in five different parishes, and and uh, in speaking with different contractors and developers in other regions, uh, it's very much generally accepted that in Ascension Parish, they are, we, our requirements are a lot of cases above and beyond what other people are doing. And so we are requiring people to do a lot. There's some things, some more things we can do, uh, you know, we may need to do. And we're always looking for that, and you know, what is good and but uh, what is not going to hamper people also. So uh, any other comments about yeah, that? Yeah, um, comment and a question, I guess. Um, the question's first. Can, can, can we get a copy electronically of that graph um, sent to us? Thank you. And um, again, I think it's key that that is, is what's actually you said um, uh, was a term you, you used, uh, approved. That's not all that's submitted. Can we also get another graph? I realize it wouldn't work for years ab above the last one, but just so we know what's, what's in the pipeline right now in 2015 of submitted, that would be appreciated. Uh, another comment, um, picking up on what um, Kent just said, 
and I think the, the president made comments too. We all know that the big controversy began just recently, actually. And that's probably appropriate when you consider that graph you just showed. I mean, it's not that we were not knowing that things were increasing, but uh, if I looked at that graph cor correctly, and I, and I think I've interpreted right because Mr. Turner, um, Mr. Horner, uh, Bob and I had a conversation right before this meeting, and there's a quadrupling in, in that graph, like in the last, what is it, Bob, year or two. All right, so let's look at those 500 rooftops, just, just to give the public an idea of scaling about what could happen going down the line if we get the impact fees on the books and we get a correct number um, to help with the people that are coming to pay for their impact as opposed to the people here paying uh, for the same, uh, especially in lieu of the fact that they don't want taxes. We, we don't need to really revisit that much other than the fact that the lanes for change tax did go down. 500 rooftops at District 7 and 8 just a few weeks ago, right? Now let's just say that the impact fee recommendation and, and eventually, you know, we codify that as, as, a, as a council is $5,000 a rooftop. That's 2.5 million. And not that you could spend the money for what I'm fixing to say, but that's the difference between our current dedicated money, right, Mr. Martin, as I see it's not in your head, for our, our existing 500 plus miles of road that was in our parish maintenance system. Um, we could go right to the jugular vein with a, with a, with a couple, and I realize it's gotta be spent in the area where the impact is, but we'd have to decide, Kent and I have talked about this, and all the other councilmen this, this committee have too, you know, what's going to be a district? You're going to have to define that. But I, I like this idea that, it, you know, if it ain't immediately right in that subdivision, maybe real close by connect the road because we're going now, Bob, to this uh, urban systems, regional maybe analysis that's more appropriate that would relieve traffic period. And I think the people, I think the end thing is what Tommy said a minute ago. It might be a little stinging, I think, in the beginning. But boy, when it shows results, we'll all be heroes. 500 rooftops, two and a half million dollars. Thank you. Any other questions or comments? I'd like to thank you all for uh, the administration for all the work. Uh, and I know it's, uh, th this is very hard to get things and get it changed and get it done in a proper manner. Uh, so looking forward to uh, moving, moving ahead with that and get some of this traffic moving. Thank you very much. With that, second motion by Benny, second, second by Doc. This meeting is adjourned.